News. Welcome back to KREX 5 News at Noon. I am joined live in the studio by two very special guests. This is Dave Brock with the Justice League of Hope and Rhonda Steele with Western Paranormal. How are you guys doing? Awesome. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. Thank you for joining us. Now, if you're wondering what these two different organizations have in common, well, they've got the spookiest event I've ever heard of in common, and it sounds very exciting. Can you guys fill me in on the details? Um, on October 16th, my team, Western Slope Paranormal and the Elks Lodge and the Justice League of Hope were combining to have a, a paranormal investigation at the Elks Lodge and we're raising money for Dave's group. Um, it costs $35 and we are actually booked and we are actually taking standby requests right now. Um, no, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds really exciting and it sounds scary as well. Before we jump into just how scary this actually is, because I know you've got more information, I would like to know what the cost of admission, you said it's going towards Justice League of Hope. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, this is our 11th year and uh, we adopt families around Christmas time and we send out applications and this year our goal is 20 families and Western Soul Paranormal is coming together to help raise money for this. Uh, we also stand out in front of Walmart and other businesses around town uh, asking, you know, the community to come together and actually be the true heroes of Christmas uh, with the kids' wish list that we have. And every year we get together everything that they want, everything from power wheels to uh, Xboxes. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing seeing how our community comes together. Wow, that sounds incredible. So it's for a good cause and it's going to scare the crap out of you. Pardon my French. <laughs> Rhonda, can you fill us in on the Elk Lodge? It sounds like there's some pretty spooky stories surrounding that, right? Um, there's a lot of stories that I've been told. Um, I do a, a ghost walk during the week, and I've had a lot of people tell me different stories about it, um, about a piano that plays in the basement, and there's a man in, in the full, full um, old-time costume that they wore in the Elk's Lodge. He walks. Um, there's a little girl that laughs in there. Um, just different things move around and we're hoping to catch it. Did you catch a recording, one of your friends, Kim? Yeah, Kim, Kim caught a recording. Um, it freaked it me out. I heard it and I was just like, whoa. I mean, it happened in the same exact room we were in. It, it, you, you can feel the eeriness in that, in that building. Wow. Well, you had me at scary. I personally, I love all this paranormal stuff. I think this sounds really exciting, but that is on October 16th. We will have that information on westernslopenow.com if you're interested. But I understand you guys both have some upcoming events before October 16th. Can you fill me in on yours? Uh, this Saturday, uh, the 9th, uh, the Justice League of Hope and the U.S. Army uh, are going to be down at the uh, Spirit Halloween uh, doing pictures with everybody and helping raise money for the Spirit of Children, which are uh, children that are in hospitals. Uh, all of it goes 100% back to the children in the hospitals. So, and it's going to be a lot of fun doing pictures with everybody. We've got stickers to hand out and all the kinds of cool stuff. And some of the Justice League of Hope, like Superman, he's not going to be Superman. He's going to be Jack the Ripper. Every, you know, this is... Every, we don't get to be in spooky attire very often, so we're, we're taking advantage of this one. So Yes, any it's excuse be a lot of fun. you can get. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a blast. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Rhonda, can you fill me in on the Western Slope Paranormals well, upcoming to, event? Tonight we're going to be doing a walk at 730, meeting in front of the Avalon, and we walk down and we tell stories, um, we, a little bit of horrible history, some just history of the buildings and some ghost stories that we've collected. And then after the walk tonight, we're actually going to take anybody who wants to go to Orchard Mesa Cemetery and do a mini investigation with them. Wow. Aren't you doing that same event uh, on the 30th? On the 30th. Day? We're going to have different um, scheduling, which you could find out on Western Slope Paranormal Facebook. Western Slope Paranormal Facebook and westernslopenow.com will have that link along with this information. Sounds like everybody has a lot of options, some spooky, some fun, but either way, they're going to a great cause. Thank you guys both so much for joining me. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. I'd love to hear more ghost stories sometime in the future. <laughs> but thank you both so much for joining me, and we will be right back after this break. Stay tuned.